go. So we are African, actually we're African apes. We're all African apes. Okay, my last question. <laughs> this is probably going to be the most simplest one for you to answer, but what if you're wrong? Why does it become more compelling? Because it's in a place that exists. Whether you're, you know, an atheist like me or... Just ask you to fact check something for me very quickly, okay? Because I, okay. I have this Noah's Ark um, toy. All right, so so, <laughs> so so here's the Ark, right? Yeah, there, yeah. There's the Ark there. That's Noah, happy. Is, um, can I can I start straight away? White dude. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Noah was not white. No. Okay. Okay. Carry on. So okay. <laughs> well, I think that raises an obvious question about the elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm wondering why is taking a historical approach to the Bible so controversial? It's controversial because when you do take a historical approach, so look at the archaeological evidence for events or people described in the Bible, it's very hard to find corroborating evidence to support the biblical claims about the past. Now, Noah and his family were able to build a wooden ship that would house 14,000 individuals, there are 7,000 kinds, and then and every, there's a boy and a girl for each one of those. So it's about 14,008 people. And these people were unskilled. As far as anybody knows, they were never built a wooden ship before. Others claim this is Noah's Ark. The structure they've located is near the top of Mount Ararat in Turkey, the place where the Bible says the ark came to a rest when the floodwaters that covered the earth went down. The explorers say they excavated two and a half miles above sea level, and that's where they say the structure they found has wooden chambers perfect for holding animals. They also say the carbon dating on the items found inside shows they are around 4,800 years old. Noah's era. Ancient monuments deep underwater. A once thriving metropolis, now half a mile under the sea. Lost cities submerged for thousands of years. All over the world, there are sunken cities. There's more than 200 known sunken cities in the Mediterranean alone. Fox P2 is a gene that was found in our nucleotides and it is something that sets us completely apart from any other animal. And scientists have suggested that that gene alone is responsible for language. And there is absolutely no evidence of origin or that this thing somehow mutated from the animal kingdom towards us. So we are African, actually we're African apes. We're all African apes. Okay, my last question. <laughs> this is probably going to be the most simplest one for you to answer, but what if you're wrong? Bye. Oh!